Creative Kit Activity Videos by Arts Place. Hi, my friends, it's Sam from Arts Place. I was just hoping to share with you a little bit more about me as an artist. Something that I love to do is called mixed media. Mixed media is a fancy way of saying lots of different types of art making all in one. So for example, we might have paint and oil pastel. We might have collage and sewing or stitching, even in the same work. One of my favorite pieces that I just finished recently is this one here. This is full of color, texture, line, shape, form, all the good elements of making an art piece, but it's in my sketchbook and it was something that came out of creative wellness for me. So I've been focusing a lot this past while on my own creative wellness. Sometimes I make work to hang on walls and go in galleries, and sometimes I make work just for me and work that's going to live in a sketchbook forever and ever. I think making art from the heart and art for our creative wellness is really important. I'm also really happy to share that this fall I'm going to be starting to study art therapy. Art therapy is the way that we use art to help ourselves and others feel a little bit better and again really emphasizing that creative wellness journey. I am so excited to share my Geo Mammal activity with you today. We are going to be making geometric mammals. So mammals that you find in the Bow Valley made up of all geometric shapes. Now you might recognize some geometric shapes like circles, rectangles, squares, triangles. It's amazing that all of those shapes put together in a certain way can start to make some really unique shapes and forms like mammals. Now in your kits you'll notice that there's a template where I've included a bear, a coyote, or a wolf depending on what you see, as well as the mountain goat. And the mountain goat's my favorite one. He's so cool. I also have included lots of stickers, as well as gems, jewels, little sticky things that you can add. They're in the polka dot bag. So if you open that bag up, you'll see that there's a variety in there. Now, if you're tuning into this video and you don't have a creative kit, that's actually okay. You can do this entire activity with just some construction paper, a glue stick, and scissors. Then you can add paint, or you can even color them at the end. All the options are available to you if you don't have that creative kit. You'll notice in the creative kit when we do use those stickers, if you don't have them, that's okay, you don't need them. You can add something else instead, or just cut them out of construction paper, that works too. Now, this activity in this video has a lot of cutting. So if you are someone that needs some help with cutting, grab a grown-up so that they can give you a hand and maybe even give you a head start. Because if you're working together, it'll go a little bit faster. Maybe you can do this creati creative activity with your grown-up as well and you can have lots of mammals that you can play with. So to get started, you will need your construction paper, your scissors, a pencil, the template, and that polka dot bo a little bag with all the stickers inside. Let's get started. And one secret, if you watch this video all the way to the end, there's an extra special creative surprise at the very end. So make sure you watch it all the way through. Okay, let's get started with our geo mammals. For this activity, you're going to need construction paper, scissors, a glue stick, and all of the fun fancy things included in your polka dot bag, including stickers, gems, and sparkles. Our first step is to take our template and cut out everywhere you see a dotted line for each of the shapes. A template is something that we'll use to trace these shapes onto our colorful paper. Let's cut those out now. Once we've cut them out, choose the paper up color of your choice and trace around each of the outlines, creating a perfect circle or a perfect square and cut them out. You can choose any colors that you wish for every part of your Geo Mammal. You'll also notice on your instructions that there are some places where it'll say which specific thing we're cutting out at this time so you can make some good color choices. If you notice that it says half of a shape, go ahead and draw a line down the middle and cut it out with your scissors. Now it's time to glue. Let's assemble our creation. We're going to start with our nose, our muzzle, and our ears. Don't forget, this video is really fast, so hit pause at any time to follow along with me. After we've assembled the basic shapes, let's start to decorate. We're going to use those fun stickers, cut them in half for more geometric shapes, and amplify and add on details to our mammals. I've added eyelids, inside of ears, cheeks, and a little nose. 
If you only need half, you can always put the other half back and save it for later. My favorite part is coming up next. I'm gonna add my lovely eyes and I'm gonna to start to decorate with more geometric shapes. Using the rectangle and the square, I'm gonna cut out various colors to add some cool details to my geo mammals. Cut as many as you like and as many colors as you like. Go ahead and glue them on. The final step here, of course, is to add some fun, funky sparkles. I'm gonna stick on these self-adhesive, beautiful gems. If you don't have gems, that's okay. You can also use paint and markers. The next animal we're gonna do is the coyote or the wolf. Go ahead and take your circle template, fold it along that line so that it gives us an extra unique shape. Trace it and cut it out. Set the smaller piece aside, keep the bigger piece. Now for each of the squares, we also have to draw those lines and cut them in half. The lines don't have to be perfect, they can be approximate. If we want to make something a small square, a nice easy trick is to stack the shapes on top, grab your scissors, and just cut a little bit off the edges to decrease the size of your shape. You can modify the size of your shapes at any time. My template is just a suggestion. Feel free to make those creative choices on your own. Now we're gonna glue them down. Same assembly as before. Let's start with the nose, add the ears, the detail of the ears, and then we're gonna decorate using our geometric shapes. Don't forget, you can choose any colors you like. They don't have to be the same as mine. Cut those circles in half, save your extra circles for later, and adorn your beautiful creation with your googly eyes, your gems, jewels, and sparkles. Let's work on our mountain goat. Cut out all the shapes that we need and draw a line down the diagonal of the one rectangle so that it's ready for our horns, our ears, and of course these two circles have something special. Draw a line really close to the top, about a quarter of the way down, so that they line up. We're going to use that as the head and stick it onto the body. Grab our large circle template, fold and crease along that line to use one more time as a guide, just like we did with our wolf. Trace along the top, set the template aside for later. Don't forget all of the things that you need are listed on the template. Let's cut along those lines, get ourselves ready to go, and then we'll start to glue. We're going to assemble the head first, add the ears and the horns, then we're going to glue the legs to the back of our mountain goat. Using our fun circular shapes, let's add some details like cheeks and decorations. Add some wonderful geometric shapes to the body, a nose, a tail, our two eyes, and of course, our gems and sparkles. Once you're done, don't forget, always recap your glue stick. And that's it, my friends. Awesome, my friends. I bet your geo mammals are looking as fun and funky as mine. I hope so, because they're so interesting and they're so cute. If you have extra materials and supplies left over, keep them. You can create your own geometric shapes. Maybe you even want to make mammals or animals that I didn't include. For example, an owl or perhaps a squirrel, or maybe any other animal that you can see around the Bow Valley or an animal that you really love. You can use geometric shapes to assemble all kinds of creatures and creations. So I hope that that inspires your creativity to keep making more. Now, I did have a one extra special surprise that I think you're really going to like. It's just a creative idea, and you can take this and do it however you would like. But what I noticed is when I made these little bags for everybody and put them together, we have a little handle bag like this. What is so cool and so neat is if we take our bag after it's empty, if we open up our bag like this, put our hand inside, fold this over here, this can become a hand puppet. So you can decorate this, imagine little googly eyes here or some fun activity, uh, put anything from your creative activity kit all over, stickers. You could even do your geometric shapes on here. I also love, it's the perfect size to be a bear. So if you could take your bear, for example, you can stick it on and this can become a hand puppet for you. I really hope you enjoyed this activity and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye.